What is up, YouTube? We are back with another reaction video, and today uh, we're gonna be acting to something good. Uh, it's pretty long, but <laughs> trust me, it's it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. So the name of the video is Rachel Wilson Storms the Whatever Podcast to Destroy Entitled Fat Girl for Insulting Andrew. Andrew's the guy in the little cutout video right there, and his wife is uh Rachel and oof just, we going to watch it <laughs> we we about to watch it so let's go well, why don't you ever talk about men? You always talk about you talk about how much you hate women every day. With men, nonstop. Do every day. When do you when do you debate with anybody ever about to. any worldview? You can't even denounce the elder in your own faith. How could you ever talk to me about anything? I debate it professionally for a living against men and <clears throat> women. You go on uh, a TikTok after you got with a guy who had a million TikTok followers, so you could piggyback on that to fame Ooh. i would not bully me here sweetheart it ain't gonna work well wait andrew check your check your text we Ch check your other, text man but um, <laughs> it's okay i'd be curious to see his I wife feel talk. Yeah, she oh. Does. Oh, she here she has. <laughs> yeah she has would you like to debate with her i'll bring her down right now let's do it oh yes let's do it she didn't know Oof. Uh, she didn't know his wife is worse than him. <laughs> worse than meaning like she she'll really tell it to your face. <laughs> she wasn't ready. <laughs> she none of them were ready, but she definitely wasn't ready. <laughs> I to say, I to I'll go get her real quick. Go I'll get be her. right back. Oh, oh, Rachel, oh, oh, oh my god. Let's get ready. It's a wrap. Because if we're saying we're get that Rachel we're getting misogynistic oh. vibes, we uh, can see framework. what they're women should so take gross. the first so bullet gross. try not to die to enable the man to fight bullet free for the kids Sorry, these came in the if the man gets me. shot who fights the shooter logic <laughs> Yo, engineer, thanks for the uh, sixty-nine dollar TTS. Mucho gusto, senor. Thank you, Giovanni. Giovanni JD donated sixty-nine dollars. Thank you, bro. She rocks and burps that Dolbert would just as quickly dismember it. Keep it away from her, Brian. Bro, what? Shame. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, Giovanni, thank you for the uh, TTS, man. I really appreciate it. You can hide here too, just temper. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, yo, Giovanni, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. I really hope Rachel comes. Is oh, she, she, alien? she gonna come. <laughs> oh my God. Alien Romans. <laughs> GMD Jim donated sixty nine dollars. <laughs> so the pro-choice Catholic not only wants children Stop. gone, she wants the husband to take a bullet also. Wow. Wow. Stop calling yourself a Catholic. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> She's back there. She heard it. Uh, she Jim. already did. She stopped. Yeah, she, she stopped. She already denounced her. She unclaimed Catholic. She denounced. She said she was raised Catholic. And she was raised this way. <laughs> she was raised this way. Hillary Epstein donated sixty-nine dollars. Hey, maybe I need to do a podcast like this. People just willingly giving money, just. To get their comment read out loud. That's crazy. I'll be making a killing. <laughs> Imagine not being able to see the viewpoint that men get the terrible <coughs> end of the deal in the dating perspective. There is no hate, but modern sex culture isn't fair for men. Got us mm. on both sides. Mm. Yep. Got to see you, both Max. sides. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Hillary Epstein. Appreciate it. Look. Look at all the money. Look. Donated sixty-nine dollars. You don't look happy, says uh -oh. the woman who looks happy on the outside but is deeply troubled on the inside. Just keep smiling for the camera, sweetie. Keep hiding who you really are, you <laughs> sociopath. <laughs> A what? Like I'm the opposite of sociopath. I feel an empath. <laughs> Right. Is that like when you can read Is Andrew back? Nick? Oh, yeah. Skip it forward. Oh, he 
Wait, you're there it is. not even in frame. What there it is. Can we can we raise her seat up? Can we get her booster seat? <clears throat> Look at that. I have yeah, a marriage. Can we get Rachel a booster seat? Can we Oh, there's Andrew with the that, cigarette. She needs that we need, pillow. We need it. We need Andrew. We need a uh, Rachel okay, this to, way. Oh. Can, can we I get literally Rachel got a dragged out of bed for this. This better be good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear my husband is a and woman. She is gonna rip into and I'm, and I'm here that to, one uh, in the white sweater or whatever that thing is called. From the stove, just long enough <coughs> to be here. So she's out of how the dog I, cage. How for can these I help guys? you, ladies? <laughs> Who? Ladies. So have you watched your husband talk to women on the podcast? Yeah, I listen to every single podcast he does. I've also been on the podcast, and I debate women all the time myself. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I was listening to you earlier describe how you think that men should pay for dates with women who want to be equal, don't want to give them children, and also want to have their own careers, and that absolutely blew my mind. You don't yeah, that, that is my on the first date. Okay, so my opinion on that one is... If if I invite you, then yeah, I'll pay for it. But if you invite me, you should pay for me. That only makes sense. So like, if I invite you, oh, let's go to Six Flags. I got you. I'm gonna pay for you. You invite me to Six Flags. You got me. <laughs> if not, I ain't going. <laughs> Because <laughs> I got the buddy, obviously. <laughs> oh, I think they should pay on the first date for women who are going to be wives, not for women like you. That too. I wouldn't be a wife? Not if you're going to <coughs> refuse to give a man children, have to it's have your own career, you're working outside the home. It's not refusing to give a man like children. Yours? No, you're a roommate. Why would a yeah, basically, she's a roommate. <laughs> you want to be equal or no? Well, I have a conversation with my partner, and we've discussed having children. I'm not and you notice how she say partner? Partner. Yeah. Roommate. <laughs> I'm taking away from them having children. We've decided together that having children is probably not the best idea. If you're equal partners, why should he pay for your stuff? Exactly. Want, a man at the beginning of the relationship should want to prove that they are invested in the relationship. So what are you proving? Exactly. Like, it goes both know. ways. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, you can pay for your own supersized McValue meal, and I will uh, go find a woman who actually wants to be a wife. If I'm gonna pay for shit, like, you said you're. Makes no sense. You said you're equal. Fifty percent is just being there. So what is? Does that mean he's doing seventy? That's crazy. In there too. You're both there. No, but I think so it's how is that showing not? the investment. Women show investment with time. I like that girl. <laughs> she she got a head on her shoulders. This one does not. <laughs> okay, because if you do want to have children, there's limited time. But I think that um, women, they value different things. Like, they value when a man provides for them, especially on a first date, a first meeting. And men, men value. So you, you providing your glorious what? presence is what he's investing in. That's crazy. My presence, yes. No. I don't really see Well, a I mean, simps issue. are going to simp. There's a simp out there, you know, for everyone. So. That's 100% true. That's the right way to go oh, it's about simping. it. That's the worst simping ever. I'm going to let you live at my house for, like, practically free and split the chores and pay for all your shit. That's simping. That's yeah. It's like the guy who genuinely likes you. Do you pay any bills with your husband? No, but I'm a stay-at-home mom. I raise Thanks. the children. I cook all the meals. Andrew has never done a house tour ever in 17 years. I do all of that. I bring him his food. I bring him his drinks. Mm. I keep track of his schedule. Basically do anything he, he needs me to do to help him because that's my duty in the relationship. So, yeah. That's a good woman right there. That is a great woman. <laughs> I want to find one like that. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you want to talk about investment, I'm pretty invested. So he feels like, you know, if I want this traditional wife role and I actually do all those things, 
then he feels like it's worth it to provide. But if I were to come in here and be like, well, I want my own career and you have to do your own laundry and we're going to split the chores 50-50 and I want to be equal, he'd be like, oh, okay, bitch, then you can be equal and pay for all your shit. Like, exactly. Right, for my stuff. This makes no sense. Exactly. Like choose. Do you want to be strong, independent, equal women or do you want chivalry and protection and provision? You exactly. You want the best of both. You want all of the rights and all of the privileges, and you want none of the duties and none of the responsibilities. And that's bullshit. It's like you didn't have a mom to tell you that this isn't how the world works. Or something. Like my, my daughters don't get that nonsense from me. I'm like, uh, no, that's not how that works. Exactly. So if your why daughters, are you so, why are you so entitled? That's what I want to know. If your daughters why, went on a first date, from? you want them to split the bill. What's that? If your daughters went on a first date, would you want them to split the bill? Only if they're going to be feminists, which they're not, because I didn't raise them. Because the <laughs> way them to be that way. That's how my parents' relationship is. <clears throat> it's like my mom does the same stuff that you described, and I think it's perfect. Like my mom might not be okay. contributing to rent. My dad makes the money, but she's contributing something else. She's doing a job that's just as equal as his job, mm -hmm. but she's not getting paid because it's she's being. She's doing the household duties that returning somebody. Paper. She's doing the mm -hmm. same thing, whether yeah. or not it's being paid. Like my parents are fortunate enough where my my parents are fortunate enough where my dad makes enough money where she doesn't have to work and she's able to provide those things. Exactly. Therefore, it's the same thing as money, in my opinion. Like spending time and working around the house. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know why it's so hard for some women to understand that. Like I don't get it. <laughs> then again, I don't understand women either. They're like a a puzzle, <laughs> a very hard puzzle, yeah, a Rubik's I mean, cube. It goes beyond of labor. It's more than right. about division of labor. Like I have tremendous amount of respect for Andrew. He is the head of the household. He's the person that has the major burden of most of the responsibility. We've had a home invasion. Mm. He was the person who had to go deal with that and risk mm -hmm. his life. You know, mm -hmm. uh, he's worked 60, 70 hour weeks for years so that I could stay home and our kids didn't have to be raised by strangers in daycare. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a massive amount of responsibility on this man and he's extremely competent. He is a really loving, honorable man who has yep. like very firm boundaries and stands by them and <clears> takes <throat> very good care of his family. So. He gets the big piece of chicken, he gets the respect, he gets yes. the love and the admiration, and because I'm loyal and I'm doing all those things, then he, he provides for me and protects me and the kids, and yeah, I mean, this is how it works. Now, if you don't want that, and you want this egalitarian stuff where we're, we're equal partners, he's my partner, then you've got to pay for your own shit. And Thank you. Do you. Your own work and you it makes like, sense. You know, take care of all your own stuff and don't expect the man to go answer the bump in the night because you're strong. You're equal. Uh huh. Right? If you're equal, yeah. you can go take care of that. You can go deal with the man that breaks in in the middle of the night. You can change the tire in the rain. Uh, if the basement floods and there's sewage backing up into it, I guess you can go deal with that, right? Uh -huh. So you just have to choose. Don't do this bullshit where you're like, we're equal partners, except for when there's anything dirty, dangerous, <laughs> difficult. That's all his job. Uh -huh. I just sit here and, and grace him with my glorious presence. Exactly. That's entitlement, that's narcissism. Uh -huh. It's terrible behavior. It's ruining society. And then on top of it, you feel no obligation to produce future generations. You want him to just let his lineage die with, you know, die with him. <laughs> and you feel super entitled to that too. It's like, I don't understand what? why. Hold on, hold on. So what I don't understand is, uh, so men, some men, not all men, men use logic and then the women always feelings. <clears throat> you can't, Put feelings into everything because you're never gonna use facts or whatever. It's always just gonna be, well, I feel this way, I feel that way. Yeah, but what are the facts though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are the facts? Put some logic into it a little bit. Then, yeah. 
I you what? can't understand. You can't get the concept that I've talked to my partner. I'm not taking away his ability to have children. We've both agreed we don't want to have children. If he doesn't want to have children, I'm not <coughs> taking that away from him. To be fair, I did say he's a pathetic simp. So I mean, that's right in line with being a pathetic simp. <laughs> I think he would respect kids, women's choices until I die. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are selfish materialists, is what I'm getting. Life is about me and my comfort and what I want and and my, you know, uh, just, I live for me every day. I wake up with no thought of the future or any duties or responsibilities I have to anyone other than myself, and and that's great. So it's like, if you want to live that way, I guess, but I just, I'm just looking at you and I'm listening to you, and I'm wondering where this entitlement and this sense of, uh, confidence is coming from I'm because, I like, because I don't want to have children and I like when men pay on first dates. That's entitlement. What are you useful for? Um, I would say that women have intrinsic value. Ay, so Dios you, mio. What are needs? Well, I'm a like, woman, yeah. so I have intrinsic value. Ay, so Dios mio. Why. How? Because I'm a person and everyone bleeding? has val everyone has value. It depends on who's looking at you. <coughs> have intrinsic value yeah they do but i said that it's different it's a different type of value but feminism is about equality it's always different so if it's different <laughs> then how is that equal exactly no they can, they can be equal in the sense of they can both work you can be a stay-at-home mom and not pursue a career that's fine but women should have the opportunity and the choice so do you think women should work too Women should be allowed to work. No, I mean, like, in your relationship, if you're not raising kids, should you both, in your marriage, let's say you get married, have a job, both of you? Yeah, but I think that a woman's job could be a little... I like that woman. She, she's using her brain. Women don't, shouldn't have to go work some 9 to 5 and, and <clears throat> do this climbing of a corporate ladder. But, like, for myself, I've found... A job that allows me to stay home and is not super strenuous and I think that a lot of women should be able to have the option to either stay at home or work what would you Lol Paladins donated $69 W to Rachel Elta Fat Frostitute Feminists Frostitute TikTok he who wars who hate men and provide no value to society the problem is they had mothers but their mothers are bad people she's amazing and i love her very much Dang. i'm just it's wild to me because you asked do i hear how my husband talks to me and i actually think Jade, he's way too nice. 69 <laughs> don't forget there's two first more chair did of as well Thank you, Jim. including bg and said she first couldn't chair? remember if she ever did b slash b slash g pretty sure anyone that's got gang banged and posted it would remember I have not gotten gang banged, and BBG is not the same thing as a gang bang, but okay. Wait, she's done OnlyFans? Oh my. Are you already? You called him your partner. Partners split expenses. <coughs> exactly. He's not your husband. He could just hire a cleaner and a prostitute you, with a nice body. You are just too ungrateful, leech. Ooh. I Ooh. don't think he would agree with that, but okay. Ooh. <laughs> Another one. Random underscore bear donated sixty nine dollars. Rachel more. be like, I got out of bed for this and look this good. I will bring the heat. <laughs> we must. I look terrible. I look no. terrible, but thank you. It's fine. It's Wait, fine. Wait, you, you're shaking your head. <sighs> da hey, star. That's not very. Judgment. Judgment. Uh, uh, uh. Also, Love your Rachel <laughs> looks very down. Rachel looks very dapper. Jeff I literally just like put on face cream and was Rachel like tucking myself Titus into bed and Andrew five. comes upstairs, so. Rachel is Titus, Rachel is Titus two, four, two, five. Four, five. What's that? Uh, that's the Titus, the Titus two wife. Um, it's like a description of like what an honorable woman is and how she acts. Is that like in the, so. Thank you, in the Bible? Compliment. I certainly have my flaws. It's Let me see. Like Titus two, anything, four, and five. The, the I think that's the Bible. About, you know, Ryan's lint roller people. donated $69. Let's <laughs> see Rachel real quick. Out of the kitchen, but she's still fugging, cooking. <laughs> okay. uh, Titus. Now, since Rachel also two. came down, she wanted to address, I guess, your criticisms. Uh, you said that Andrew, he has animosity towards women. All right, so Titus 2, 1, 5, it says...
And so train the young woman to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and that he hates women. And so does she. And how Captain oh donated $69. Found someone just I definitely take a bullet for the girl in the white crop top. Mm -hmm. This girl is based and hot. The world needs more of that. She'd be a great woman for any man. Oh, yeah. 100%. Girl. I want to address the, the gal with <laughs> the pink hair real details. quick because I did hear her say that. Um, it is not hatred to criticize women. It is in no way hateful to notice when women are acting like entitled narcissists and to call them out on that. Like I said, all the women at this table could tell me all night long about what they think they deserve and what their rights are and what they should have and what they ought to be able to do. But none of you can tell me what duties, responsibilities, or obligations you have outside of yourself to society, to the people around you, you would say things like, I'm smart and I'm funny and I'm just a really great yeah. person and I'm a good yep. friend and, uh -huh. and all these worthless platitudes. But there's no like sacrifice. You don't ever not at all. need to sacrifice anything for anyone outside yourself. You're not willing to have sleepless nights so that mm -hmm. you can raise babies and produce human beings that are going to go out into the world and, and have a legacy and have an effect, right? You're not mm -hmm. really willing to do much of anything unless it benefits you. And exactly. then if someone questions, if Andrew comes on here and says, let me poke around and see why you think these things. Let me see if there's any logic behind your beliefs. Let me see if you even understand it's never logic. why you believe the things you believe. You think that's hateful. You think that's misogynistic. You think he's mean. No, it's just that you're used to be being treated like a child princess and being carried around on a cushy little pillow in life uh -huh. with absolutely no opposition, with nobody ever going, hey, wait, what are you doing? <coughs> what, are, uh -huh. what are you providing in life? What are you doing for anyone else outside yourself? You're, you haven't ever been challenged on anything because you're a pretty girl, right? I'm uh -huh. young and I'm cute. True. Why you are you questioning me? me? Why are you so hateful? <coughs> Where's all the trauma? No, it looks like, like it's true. Four year old. <laughs> It looks like it's true. It looks like it's hurting inside. Look, look at her face. She like, why is she picking on me? <laughs> she knows it's true. I can tell by her face. Woman who's actually lived, raised five children, worked really hard in my life for everything I have. I take care of, you know, other family members. I help at my church. I do things that aren't just for me. So when mm -hmm. I see girls that behave this way and have this mentality, you're damn right I'm going to come on here and say some shit, especially if I get dragged out of bed to defend, you know, this <laughs> little girl that's saying my husband must be traumatized and hates women. It's just garbage. You're full of shit. You have no idea what you're talking about. So these are the I hope people that of helps. the Orthodox Church. You guys seem lovely. I would love to go to the Orthodox Church. I think you're upset <laughs> because, because you didn't love coming, okay, coming from someone lovely. who I know personally, I'm not a 10. I am very self-aware in that regard. I think that there might be animosity coming from you because you're maybe not as good looking. Oh, oh my I'm definitely God. I've been on the show. I've rated myself. Now we go to insulting. We didn't all think we were models. When you were growing up in the 80s and 90s, everyone didn't think they were a 10. Like all of us girls who were not going to have modeling careers or be the hot cheerleader, we all knew that and we were fine with it. And we didn't think we deserved Six foot, six pack, six figure man. You know, we were just like happy to meet a nice boy who liked us back. This was before but Instagram you're calling and all those this boys crazy simps. narcissistic insanity. No, she's huh? not. You're calling those boys simps. No, she's not. No, I'm calling your boy a simp. He's a simp. That's simp. <laughs> a nice boy who likes you isn't the same thing as some absolute goober who's going to pay for all your goober. crap. He's not, not paying for everything. Anything. I'm just saying at the beginning of what the relationship, for, on then? the first couple dates, a man should take the investment and pay for the first couple dates. She's not paying for everything. She said that his family is paying for some. Yeah. And I think it's only... His family? What? What? <laughs> hey, alright. Yeah, he's a simp. Yeah, how you get his family to pay for her stuff? Right. It's fair that I pay a portion of 
rent. For a it's girlfriend? Smorgan. You're not even married. I'm like, why would his family pay for your stuff? Right. They're not. They're not. Brother or something. Uh, they, all, part, they all. They all own like a, a home. home. And I help with she pays the water some bill. of the bills. She pays, some of the she pays, she pays the, the water bill. bill. She pays the water bill. <laughs> My question is, it's not even fitting to the dynamic that you're expressing so much interest in. Like, you're expressing so much interest in not only the first dates, but that you also want to be supported by this person. And this I don't dynamic... think that means mm -hmm. not paying any bills or doing any <clears throat> sort of housework or, like, helping in the relationship. Like, I don't think that it's entitled. I just think that... It's a better dynamic long term for a man who has the financial stability to be with them rather than a man who Ooh, doesn't have any bad. sort of future plan to provide for you. Do you so, think like, the woman needs a future plan, though? I think that women should, and this might be controversial too. Is she gone? She's here. She's still here? She's still here. Oh, okay. I think it might be controversial, but I think women... Um, even if they're not working a traditional nine to five, should have some sort of money saved up separate from their husbands in case there's domestic violence or there's mm -hmm. divorce or things mm -hmm. like that. Like you should have some of your own income. I don't think you need so, a keepsake of like if there's domestic violence. I think like <laughs> you know, she Yeah, like you should feel safe in your relationship. <laughs> pick something if you want a job just and that's equal or you could do the equal housework or and have kids like there's an equality thing that's different feminists believe that there's equality but you're mm -hmm. talking about things not being equal exactly i think it is equal like and, I, uh -huh. I am gonna jump off here because andrew's gonna come back and i do i am actually gonna go to bed <laughs> but is anybody does anybody have any like final questions or phones to pick i, I think star back there had like a thing she wanted to come back and say i'm just curious if anyone on the sorry what i really don't want to mention it oh uh, i'm just curious if anyone else on the you know her feelings is hurt her feelings are hurt she don't know how to debate just like andrew said <laughs> she ain't it's all about the feelings can't have a intelligent uh conversation but hey, whatever. On the show has brought up like internalized misogyny to you. Uh, yeah, I get it every day of my life. So you don't oh, know my background, okay. but I'm an. Uh, I wrote a book about the history of feminism and how almost everything that the normal person thinks about it is actually wrong. The way that the feminist liberation movements unfolded is garbage that was rewritten history <laughs> by women's studies departments. Um, and I debate feminists all the time, so this is normal for me. <clears throat> of course, I've heard mm -hmm. absolute garbage bullshit like internalized misogyny. It's not a thing. It doesn't exist. It's pure oh, coke. Okay. Um, it's pure coke. <laughs> I love women, but I do think that women have proper roles. And I think that the biggest problem, the problem with you and most of the other girls that have a problem with me, is that you don't understand that this modern world and all this beautiful technology around you that you're sitting in right now, if it weren't for men building that and maintaining that, you would have no illusion of being able to be a strong, independent woman and have all these choices and do but what you want. But why do men do all of that? They do it because they're benevolent and they are good. Isn't that crazy? That's, That's crazy. Really nice. and they <laughs> That's care crazy. Even though they don't have but to. But they're getting if something were, out of you. If men were as bad and misogynistic as you think, they would put us in cages and we'd be, you know, baby farms. There would be baby farms. <laughs> baby farms. I think farms. you might be a little bit of a baby farm. Whoa. Whoa. You know, she slipped out of the eye. You might be a baby farm. Hey, yeah, all right. <laughs> Yeah, this girl gotta go. <laughs> Just throwing insults. All right. You're a bit of a baby farm. Children. Haven't you popped out five children? Damn. Yeah, I'm You're a, a baby mother. farm. Yeah, I'm oh, a mother. Uh, I think that that's the ultimate form insult? of sex work, actually. Oh! What's that? Sex work? That's the scene. <laughs> so she can't beat her in an argument, so she goes to insulting now. <laughs> that's crazy. So I can't win this argument. I need to insult her now. That is gonna make you look worse. Oh my god. I think that I think that you popping out five children is the ultimate form of sex work because without those children, sex work. Would your husband provide for you? That's insane. Language. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are you using your degrading language? Baby popping form? out babies. Uh, popping out babies. This well, is, so if you're you, against if you didn't people having babies. If you didn't provide children. Would your husband marry you? No. Exactly. Why should he? 
Exactly. So you're a baby farm to him. That, that, a, a, oh my Mary God. Yes, yeah. yeah, Mia. Family. These are my <laughs> children baby too. Farm. You, exactly. no. you should be so lucky because you're gonna die alone. Oh, okay. Really. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait, top of that. So. Thank you so much. Would you, would you like me to go wake up my children and get them down here too, so you can tell them that they're like no. gross little. I don't think it's appropriate. That I don't think it's really appropriate. Them out, that they're the result of baby farm. I mean, take your little snarky little insults and shove them up your ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, tell her. It's women like me my who are children, My parents only have one child. Do. <laughs> Tell her. You are a useless, you are a useless. pepper who has never Ooh. done anything except <laughs> you're a, a great woman. You're a very godly <laughs> woman, aren't you? Both of you be nice. <laughs> nah, she started it. Talk about some be nice. Nah. <laughs> she need to go. Uh, you started it. Hey, you can dish it out, but you can't I take started it. it. Exactly. You, you can dish it out, but can't take it. You called me a baby farm, and now you're going to pretend to be offended? Get the fuck I out. said you're the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> sex worker, actually. <laughs> Oh, oh my okay. god. Yeah, me being devoted to one man for sex. One guy years, is a sex worker. You're the ultimate sex worker. Okay. You're the ultimate so sex worker. So your parents worker. are also part of a baby but, farm because you were born. I, my mom had one <laughs> child and she what also worked. She, so, but I know that my parents would have gotten married without having to have children. If I milk a cow, the cow's still providing milk, though, even if on I only farm. milk him once. So you're <laughs> oh, we don't believe that marriage is only for the purpose of children. Had we gotten married and for some reason, biologically, I couldn't, I had a medical issue and could not give Andrew children, he would not have divorced me and he would not have left me. That's not I what believe we believe it. in. We believe, I believe that it. marriage is also a sacrament of our church. You don't get divorced for a reason like that. However... Why would a man marry a woman who's giving him nothing like you are? You you don't bring See, you anything don't value, to the man except you don't value what? women for just being us. Like you just don't. I see. value people, but that's different than what oh a God, man would want to be married for. Why do you not understand these basic distinctions? A man could want to get married without wanting to have children, but that's not what your husband did with you, honey. Oh my no lord! No man does honey. that except for a simp. <laughs> Yeah, I love these feminists are always sweetie, honey. Oh. They get so sassy, but this is <laughs> you're, so be sassy. you're very story. sassy. Yeah. Well listen, I was dragged out of bed because you're sitting here insulting my husband and saying, uh, oh your wife must be some victim or there must <laughs> And another thing. She got out of bed to defend her husband. Let's give a hand clap. Need more women like this, man. <laughs> Maybe your wife is bad to you. You're saying all kinds of personal garbage. And then when I come on here and tell you what's what, you're like, how dare she? She's so mean. She's not a good Christian. It's like, well, then don't say this stupid shit, lady. Don't come on here and talk a bunch of smack. And then when I come down here and set you straight, you're like, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Right. You definitely not <laughs> set anyone straight. Uh, no, she said you and all the ones that disagree with her straight <laughs> the one that just walked off with the pink hair said her straight she ain't want to say nothing no more she definitely said you straight because you just resulted to insulting that means you lost <laughs> oh well the chat disagrees with you <laughs> most definitely straight not straight what <laughs> what do you have do i think it, thing where they say you're just pandering i think it shows i think it shows the type of woman you are the fact that you got out of bed and came down here to not only defend your husband but yep. to defend women at the right instinct that they should be mm -hmm. I, Hell, the main reason mm -hmm. I do stuff i do is because i was really shamed for not going down a career path i had a full college scholarship that I declined because I wanted to be a mom instead. And everyone around me thought it was some massive tragedy that I was going down the wrong path. I was going to regret not being a career babe. Uh, everybody said, oh, it's such a shame. You're just a mom. And turns out there's nothing I could have done with my life that's more meaningful than having five children, raising them well, and you know, being a good mom. There's mm -hmm. nothing I can do in the career world that's going to last the way that that will have a lasting impact in this world. And I was shamed for it. And I was made to feel like, oh, that's I was crazy. losing somehow. Oh, look who so, decided yeah, to come back. I don't want other women to feel that way. I want to stick up for women who do want to be good wives, who do want to be good mothers. 
who mm-hmm. think that that's a worthwhile thing to do with their lives and yeah. not have them be subject to being called baby factories by mm-hmm. disrespectful, chunky heifers with <coughs> attitude problems who can't even properly... <laughs> Disrespectful, chunky heifers. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a W. <laughs> they articulate a single thought in their head. So, That's with that, it. I'm going to go to bed, and you guys can talk to <laughs> nice Wilson instead. Maybe you'll feel better now when he comes back. Up. Yeah, because, bruh, <laughs> she was a lot more savage than her husband, I tell you that. <laughs> Rachel? Shoot. Good night, Rachel. I was gonna let Love the uh, I'll let the TTSs come through. All right, uh, let's see what the the I, chat has I had to, to pause say. them temporarily just so we could allow Rachel to have the back and forth. So a couple TTSs are gonna go through. Yep, W wife. Pretty soon. Well, uh, practicing gentleman yo, donated sixty nine dollars to all the women. How often do you receive an honest opinion about anything from an adult straight male that is neither related to you? nor wants any kind of romantic slash carnal relationship with you. Huh? How often did you receive an honest opinion? <laughs> an adult straight I don't know about that one. To you, Nora? Mike Davis oh, donated $69. Just tuning in. Wait, this blue whale only dates $1 million plus earners to cover the food bill. When her fatters Bro. gets in the car, the tire sensors pop on. Bro. <laughs> Hey, yo, that was the best $69 he ever spent to say that. <laughs> he said, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Warlord69, you were donated $69. Baby farm, you are the ultimate farm when you're eating for more than two PPA. Do better. Bro. Hey, hey, they owe her, bro. Like, they owe her. Can you guys pounds? start fat shaming me, boys? I need to lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, please I got start. a dad bod. Start getting on him. Get on me, guys. Fuck. No. Nah. No, no, no. Stay on her. She she went she went to insulting that lady. Stay on her. <laughs> this is the roast session. It's the roast session. Thank you, Giovanni. Growing a family with your loving Thank husband you, is a baby farm. Farming produces commodities. People with children don't see them as commodities. Exposed yourself and your view on no. children. Uh. I'm just saying. If By the your way, you were totally anti-natalist. You? I just want to point that out. Totally anti-natalist. Anti-natalist. Anti, like people anti- who need help babies. with getting well, pregnant. You, call, you called my wife a breeder and said that she was a sex worker because she had my children. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> what it comes down to. To a certain point, no, like, you would not don't. marry and provide for her if she I, could not have your children. You should probably. Yeah, I don't think you understand they, the distinction in faith. They talked about that. Within the within yeah, the she talked about faith, how he would still he would not divorce her if she couldn't have children. But the beginning stages of their relationship were that they decided they were going to have children. If she said she didn't want to, he would not have married her and because provided for her. If there was a... how do you how do you even know that? You're we just talked to her. Kind of no, we talked broad, to her. You're just kind of making these broad assumptions. But the thing <laughs> is, is that she she asked this fantastic question. So what? Why? What would be the problem with a man having a preference of a woman who promises him children so his lineage can live on? How would that make her? Yeah, that's another thing. That's it's insanity. Not, that's not <laughs> what I'm calling a prostitute. I'm saying that it's the ultimate form of sex work. Then that would be the ultimate form of a prostitute. A prostitute, yeah. yeah. yeah that... <laughs> that is the same thing. That is the same. Oh my lord, Jesus. I can't. <laughs> Maybe I nah. I, I wouldn't be able to do this because I'd be over there tweaking. <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> She had to have sex with you in order to make the children. There's like one dating culture that isn't true. It's too generous. Four coming in. It's anti life. Men, the martial they provide, and women are their dignity in exchange. Death for men, humiliation for women. Wait, what? Whatever. What? <laughs> Men, the material, Marshall, they provide. Are they uh, I don't get that one either. Thank you. GMD Jim donated $69. Holy shite. Did the Beluga say that Rachel is not attractive? The Beluga? Rachel is the most attractive woman currently on this show. Hey, Crisco. You will never be worth 1% of Rachel Wilson. 
Dang. I was saying, I didn't say that she was unattractive. Dang. I said there might be animosity towards Star because Star is considered more attractive. Um, oh, Sipu donated $69. <laughs> God, she's awesome, right? What you're, what you're doing is you're making this kind of argument which says the only reason Rachel thinks this is because she's jealous of X. It's a non-argument. Right? I can say the same thing. No, so the only reason you make the anti-natalist argument is because you're jealous you don't have children. I wouldn't make such an argument because it's absurd. It's an absurd argument. It's yeah, not it absurd is. to think is, that she has internalized absurd. misogyny because a more attractive woman is trying to say exactly. that you are Prove basically it. a misogynist. All you're saying is that all that you're saying here with your argument is it's not absurd if it were true. Yeah, if it That's was That's not an true. argument. That's not demonstrating it's That's true. It's just assuming if, that it's true. If was a fifth. If, if was a fifth or something like that. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll wait. I'm sure deep down she might be. Okay, See? Are you gonna no it proof. Or just gonna assert it? Excuse me. Sorry, Destiny. It might be just an internal thing that... Uh, it might just no, no proof, no logic, no nothing. You just made it up. Well, made it up. No argument. Okay, made Andrew, you're the one who said that every woman sitting here is making judgments in their head about who's more attractive. So your yep. wife doesn't do that. No, I didn't say that she wouldn't make a judgment as to who's more attractive or less attractive, but that wouldn't make her jealous or not jealous. Yes, it would. No, yes, it, it would. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Are you saying that I could claim that another man is better looking than me and that would mean I was jealous of him? Or a woman could claim another woman is better looking than her and you're jealous of them? Does that even make fucking sense it to could, you? Yes, it, it could does. cause some animosity. <laughs> no, 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 stop inserting the words. It, it could, it could, it could. Language. Anything could do anything. Does it entail, if you understand a person next to you is more attractive than you, that that means you're jealous of them? Does it actually mean that or not? I think your wife might be jealous of the fact. I think. Question, I think. I think <laughs> again. I think, the question. I think your wife could potentially be jealous. <laughs> could potentially. I think. I think. Nothing. No proof. Well, you said that the women. I'm the because you have no argument. Hold on, really quick. Um, we'll get right back to it. Uh, Nick, you got to leave soon, right? So why don't we, before you leave, let's pull up Twitch, Discord, and Debate University. Okay. I think that's, they're going to be done talking about it. So, uh, yeah, that girl's dumb. <laughs> don't hate me, but, yeah. Nah. <laughs> Just nah. Uh, all she was doing was this. Not saying anything worth anything. <sighs> Dude, like I don't know, man. She lost she lost the debate and then go insult that lady. <laughs> Everybody the table was like, What? <laughs> Why did <laughs> it, yeah, no, she's she's a She's a red flag, and um, that one with the pink hair. I think her name is Star. She's a red flag. The one with the white crop top, though. That's 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 a keeper right there. That is a keeper. <laughs> he was using her brain and not her feelings. The one with the pink hair and this one in the first chair, feelings. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like, bro, you're debating. We don't care about your feelings. Give me facts. That's all that matters is the facts. You got proof, prove it. Facts. Boom. That's it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is the Whatever Podcast. This is their video. So, uh, you know, go check their channel out. I'm actually subscribed to their channel because they be having some uh, good debates. Funny ones, too. <laughs> I react to some more of them. Um, most definitely. Uh, down in the comments, let me know what you think about this debate. Let's have a little debate in the comments. You feel me? <laughs> Let's have a little debate. And, uh... I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe.
Peace.